The Chiefs return from the bye tonight refreshed and reinvigorated and have a few familiar names returning back to their squad from injury as well. They don't turn up at Westpac Stadium to have another New Zealand derby against the Hurricanes. Of course, a close neighbouring rival to the Chiefs. Hello everyone and welcome along to Complex Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the 2014 Super Rugby competition where we are following the defending champions, the Chiefs, as they look to go for title number three on the trot. They face up tonight against the Hurricanes, and this is going to be a big match, an important match for the Hurricanes as they look to keep in touch with the runaway leaders at the moment. Well, Shah, the Chiefs, a win here will be so important if they're to keep their season alive. They are third on the table at the moment, and they have a, an average teetering on the verge of being good or bad with a five win six loss record of course if they get another win tonight they could start a bit of a roll they had a win last week and they are sitting on the verge of it being a great season or an absolute rubbish one another for the hurricanes if they can't get the win here tonight against the defending champions the chiefs and well, what can you say about this Chiefs side, of course, both teams, the squad's used for this exact fixture. So the Chiefs have a few names returning to this match, none more noticeably than Charlie Natai and Tikura Tuma in the back line. They were just magnificent. Charlie Natai, before he got injured, was just, whoa, he was blowing people away with his acceleration, his speed, and his, well, deft touches of his feet. He returns at outside centre to partner Aki in the midfield and it is the typical explosive dominant chief side who have had wins over everyone of course last week or well, two weeks ago when we last seen the Chiefs they only won by two points against the Blues. That was a close match and then of course they had the bye so they'll be coming back and they'll be well fit and ready to go against this Hurricane side for round 15 of Super Rugby. A home match for the Hurricanes, Westpac Stadium. Of course, it's really not far down the road just for the Chiefs, neighboring unions, and we are underway, the Hurricanes and the yellow Bowden Barrett kicking us off, and Rotulic takes it down as they look to spread it, and look who it is! It's Charlie Nato already! Oh, forward pass. That could have been something straight out of the dream book for Charlie Nartai. A line break straight through the middle, right off the kickoff. Could you have dreamt for anything better? Crouch. Nartai showing just how important he is to how this Set. Chiefs side function. But it will be a scrum put in for the Hurricanes. Piranara. Feeds it and at the back it is Vito waiting. And a big shove at the end. They go to the blind side. It's a good pass. Over the top it goes for Savia. No, no, Williams is at the back. There's numbers here for the Hurricanes. It comes down to Broadhurst who sets it up and they drive. Vito there with Thrush. Oh, they're getting close too. They're just five out. And look at them joining here. It's right on the line. Can the Hurricanes do it? Levave going to chain. He's caught short. Back outside to Smith. This is unbelievable defense from the Chiefs. It picks down another ruck. They go to Savia and Vito. And back inside for Big Tumang Allen. The Chiefs try to turn this over. They're stuck on their own line here. Here's Piranara. He goes to Barrett. Big pass wide. It's there for Smith. Oh, great pass. Corey Jameson. And the Hurricanes open the scoring. Conrad Smith. Just a perfect exponent of freeing up his outside man. Look how he drew in this defense here. And then the pinpoint pass just about in Corey Jane's breadbasket. There it was. Oh, he drew the man off the wing. And it was all Kernan's there. It was Tukurutuma. Just had to commit to Smith because he was just jinking. Here it is. Oh, that was brilliant work from Conrad Smith. And it was an open line for one of the best finishers in the game. That is Corey Jane. But it all started fantastic for the Chiefs. Natai, a big break down the middle is Bowden Barrett. What a conversion. That is a fantastic kick from the sideline. 
And that is just a prodigy that this young kid is. So the Chiefs after that great start, getting a line break straight up the middle, come a bit unstuck here. Gave the scrum away. And then a great piece of attacking work from the Hurricanes. As it's kicked off from Anscombe. Oh, Sweeney's got that back. He gives it to Messam. Aki has been good this season as well. Here's Manu. Puliasi Manu gives it away to Anscombe. Gareth Anscombe, not too many chances running the ball like that this season for him. Of course, missed out on a try where he dived back in the field of play. Here's Aki popping it back for Tamiya Funa. Draws in the defence, goes to Natai. Here he is, Charlie Natai. Caught at the back, good tackle from Andre Taylor. Having to fight for this ball here are the Chiefs. Comes away, Ritalik, big pass wide. Fitzgerald waiting for his support, it's Tommy Afuna. He's still got Anscom. Anscom will go in and the Chiefs will hit back instantly. Now Gareth Anscom, he didn't come off that left wing for that whole passage of play. He sat out there with Tukunatuma and they just plugged away at it. The rest of the squad did the hard work, but when it come to the finishing, it was Fitzgerald and Tommy Afuna. Boy, such a big bullocking runner. And he eventually fed the offload to Gareth Anscombe, finished the job beautifully. And Tukurutuma, first match back from injury, unrequired out there on the touchline, but so the Chiefs play that way. And it's rewarding for them just the way they commit to their to their jobs, to their roles. And it's given them their first try of the match. Of course, the Hurricanes, seven up for them already. It's going to be a bit of a battle here between these two number 10s. Anscombe, of course, nails that one. What a beauty. But he will be the underdog for that number 10 battle against Bowdoin Barrett. Could be quite the matchup this if the Hurricanes can match the level of commitment from the Chiefs. Here is Barrett kicking off again. 22 minutes gone. High up it goes. Round 15 of Super Rugby. Look at this, Conrad Smith. Popping it out for Pitanara. And that is a fantastic start to the kickoff. The Chiefs compete, they contest, and they turn it over. It's there for Kurbalo. Goes wide for Sweeney. Here's Tukunatuma. Goes straight into Jane. And he sets it up again. Kurbalo back for Anscombe. He's looking to put this away. He thumps it into open spaces. Andre Taylor was covering that left side very well, and he'll run it back. Inside ball it goes. Oh, big shot on Perinara. And that is Anskim. Can't keep him out of the match at the moment. Can't afford to lose him to a yellow card. God, that could be absolutely disastrous. But is Bowden Barrett going to line this up? No. Oh, I'm kind of surprised there. He'll be right on his limits. Would have been a good nudge too if he could have had a go. Surely he would have had a good chance of getting that vital three points there. Dane Coles will throw in. Just 15 out. Goes to the middle for Broadhurst. Now they look to Barrett, looking to look up something from their set piece playbook. Wide for Jane. Oh, good double around there and another high shot. That is not Gareth Anscombe again. It is. Unbelievable stuff from Anscombe. He read that play like a book, but just put the wrong tackle in. And he gives away another penalty, which this time, Bowden Barrett will line up a shot at goal. Goodness me, Gareth Anscombe, 32 minutes gone. Barrett close to the pole. Oh, he's missed it wide. And Aki will shoot for this, this down, he does. But Gareth Anscombe, try conversion two high tackles something in the water for the Chiefs today as he kicks out the 22 and he goes long over halfway 10 meter line is picked up there from Conrad Smith oh that was a great play from Conrad Smith but the pass was well taken from Jane and his tackle his defense was right there right on him as soon as he received that ball and into touch he went Here's a throw in, Harris puts it down, Kurabalo, here's Anskin, what's he got in his book of tricks today? Aki, back around, shocking pass to Vito, Release. wrong colour jumper there, and it will be 
Ben Franks now, take it off the back, goes to Corey Jane again into touch. Ticket of Tomb has got him sorted now. Gave him one freebie. But it's all been the chief swinger tonight after that try. Half time goes, and there's Harris throws in again. Taken down, nicely for Gerald going to Anscombe. Big pass wide, Natai. Aki, all his trouble for Sweeney. Sweeney breaks the line, but he's got support on Ritalik. He looks infield, Natai, swishing the play to the left. Kane takes the tackle, Anscombe, look out, miss him. Harris, can he open it up? Oh, he does, Manu does nicely. Kerbalo, all oh, picked up. The defense is getting off the ground and making tackles. Anscombe intercepts. This play will never end. Latimer, Ritalik, Natai, opening it up now. All oh, picked up and dumped backwards. Great tackle from Jack Lamb. The Chiefs fighting hard to get this ball back. Tommy Foon is waiting for it. Half time's gone. It's six minutes past now. And Zaki spots a little hole. Tries to slice through it. Gets taken down in the defense. Now it's Harris. He goes to the right. Tries to split the defense. Gives it to Natai. Oh, dodgy pass. And it's into touch. No, it's not. Now it is. Well, that was some passage of play there. Both teams showing, throwing the ball around like a hot potato, but neither side gets the benefit, and they head to the break. Half time with the scoreline between the Hurricanes and the Chiefs, all tied up at seven all. The stats from half time: well, it's been the Chiefs have led possession, 62 to 38, but I think quite a portion of that will be put down to that last. 10 minutes or so where it was all Chiefs and the Hurricanes were really hot on defence for most of that territory 50-50 the high tackles both to Gareth Anscombe haven't cost the Chiefs anything but I fear one more could be a yellow card handling errors 7-2 the Chiefs uh, an average day for them so far and the tackles at the bottom 36 from the Hurricanes and 22 from the Chiefs it is 7 all it is close it is tight who is going to have a good second half and take this game home. A vital four points against your closest rivals on the map. This is very important, these two sides. For the Hurricanes, they need this win. The Chiefs need to keep the pressure on the top. And they 40 minutes to go. Who's going to take home those vital points? Well, this man's been in the thick of it. He has really got into the action tonight. He's bagged himself all the points, but that's not the big thing. He has been heavy in defense as he kicks off for the Chiefs. And to the right they go with Harris. That's a good take from the hooker. And he feeds it inside and Arki takes it to ground. Doing the forwards job there was Arki. But they don't worry too much as here they come again. Anskip. Oh, just about intercepted. Tukurutuma comes in off his wing. And just about in trouble here, the Chiefs. Could they lose this ball? It's going backwards. Yes, the Hurricanes are going to pop it out on their side. And Ben Franks goes to short side again. Jane easily dealt with. But he got it away to Vito, who gets monstered. A massive shot from Messam. But a stall ball there for the Hurricanes. Now they go to the, the left. And, oh, Tumang Allen Release. was very, very shallow. That was a flat pass to the prop. And he gets it nicely. And they set it up again. Now they go to the short side. Again, it's Jane. Oh, he skips out of one and feeds it inside. Nice pass to Coles. Release. The Hurricanes are making slow progress here. Again, oh, Perinara gets Release. smashed from Fitzgerald as they pepper the short side. Now they're with Lavave. Going through the middle, trying to get the pick and go off the ruck. Tumanga Allen. Long period of possession here as Conrad Smith gets away from Tuma, But a thunderous shot. From Tura Carballo takes Conrad Smith into touch. And a vital play. That was a long period there for the Hurricanes. And a big piece of defense. They only really went forward 10 meters. Carballo. He's given it down from Fitzgerald. He kicks across field. Interesting tactic there as here come the Chiefs chasers. And just kicked away again from the Hurricanes. And it is out. Foot and touch as he landed there from Tim Nano Williams. And wow, that could be a telling play. 
Dane Coles will throw in. Line out on the 10 meter line. Stolen from Fitzgerald. Kubalo gets it away to miss him. Who drives off? Massive defense, but a big driving run from Liam Messam. Here's Kubalo. He's going to use Natai. Steps inside. Oh, that is a horrible pass from Natai. Looking for Sweeney. That is just about his worst play he could think of. Could lose his ball here. The Hurricanes massive numbers to it and they do turn it over. Barrett chips over the top, hoping for another mistake from Natai. No, he's not. He saved himself by a whisker. Harris, away to Manu. Nice pass from Puliasi Manu, finding Anscombe. Now, what's the doctor got in here for Anscombe? He's kicked ahead. The chase is coming in from Leua. And it goes back. Oh, that's a good play at the back there from Savia. Tikura Tuma takes out Taylor. And they go to ground. Here's Coles. Going to big Tumanga Allen. And they're stuck inside their 22 here. The Hurricanes not committing anyone to that ball. Oh, that is unbelievable mistake. Kupalo to Anscombe. He's right in front of the sticks. Puts it up. Oh, it's gone wide. The chop goal's gone wide. Anscombe looking to be the hero. But he's messed it up. Crouch. And the Hurricanes Crouch. are opting for a scrum just two metres out from Six. the 22. A bizarre decision, but they don't want to give the ball back to the Chiefs. They quickly, quickly secure that ball. It's all Corralos missed that trick altogether. And it's Olivabe who's breaking away to Barrett. Back inside they go. And it's a good run there from Leua. Release. Just about up to halfway now, the Hurricanes. This game is on a knife edge. Perinara. Going short to Coles, just about through. Fitzgerald has to hang on for dear life. Tumunga Allen smashed, gets it to Ben Franks. Now they look to the left side. It's a big bomb here from the Hurricanes. Ticker to Tuma picks it up. Messam's got it. Messam's running away. Messam's in a whole world of trouble. Crouch. And he's put it down. Crouch. He's put down in goal. Sit. And amazingly, with eight minutes to go, it is the Hurricanes on attack. All the Chiefs, though, they've got that under on their own side. They're going to turn over the scrum. They do turn over the scrum. And Kurabalo goes straight to Anscombe, and he pumps it downfield. Kurabalo's offside. Tukurutuma comes across, but it's still ball in the Hurricanes' court as they spread it to the left. Barrett, nice ball. They keep it alive, Leoa giving it to Savia. Release. They're 30 odd meters out here. Short pass to Levave. Here's Perinara again, going to Savia. No way through there, boy, they're keeping it tight. Really keeping it tight as Barrett slips through Anscombe, but doesn't get through the rest of the defense. Release. Coming to support the fly half. All oh, time is up here. Oh, what's going to happen here? There's advantage to the Hurricanes. Release. What is going on? It goes back to Barrett Mind for over. the drop goal. Advantage is over. It's shot. Tikaratuma picks it up. And now the Chiefs will look to go coast to coast here. Natai, Latimer, they've got no choice here, the Chiefs. Kane takes it to ground. It is seven all. Neither side wants a draw, but no one wants to lose. Here's Kurbalo to Anscombe. Oh, this looks dangerous here. Aki's over now wide. Here's Aki looking at field now. Ritalik on hand, but Ritalik's taken down. Harrison support. Here we go again for the Chiefs. Manu opening it up for Latimer. Oh, dodgy pass coming to Kurbalo on the inside. Kurbalo splits him open. He looks to the right for Ritalik. Feeds it out the back door, Anscombe. Miss him. They can't afford another missed drop goal. Fitzgerald away for our key. Stepping. Can't get away from the defense. And a nice tackle from Jane. Tikura Tuma fires it away for Anscombe. Tamiya Funa. Oh, he's running. He's just about at a standstill. It's Tamiya Funa. Chiefs going to ground. Hurricanes compete, but they won't get it again. Here's Kane. Oh, this is getting the best of all these players. They're out on their feet. Tommy Afuna, Anscombe, away to our key. Here's the break. Took it a tumor. Oh, he just about went out. Unbelievable stuff this match. Fitzgerald opens it to Natai. Keeping it alive for Sweeney. 
Now Sweeney's looking for support. Finds it. And Aki going to Kurbalo. Miss him. Away for Tommy Afuna. And a standstill. Once again. Taking a turn to Anscombe. Anscombe one on one with Taylor. Oh, massive shot from Taylor. And look how slow the Chiefs forwards are now. They can hardly get there. Look at the Hurricanes players. 96 minutes gone. Away for Natai. They want to score a try. They can't risk a drop goal. Carballo for the corner. He won't do it, but Aki will. Aki will score and the Chiefs will steal it. What a passage of 20 minutes of unbelievable rugby from the Chiefs and the Hurricanes. But it will be Aki. How did that stay in field for so long? There was the run from Natai. Kurbalo looked like he was in, but great show of speed there from Leua to chop him down. He might have even got there himself. Let's see where he landed. But the forwards were all completely out on their feet. Here's the tackle. He would have made it himself, Kurbalo, but unselfishly, he chanced the offload to Bundy Aki. And, well, they were, they couldn't risk another drop goal attempt. Anskim already had one shot at it. Oh, it was such a, such a decision someone had to make. The Chiefs, they backed their back line. And the Hurricanes will take a bonus point as Anskim nails the conversion. What a matchup. The Westpac Stadium crowd have been treated to a delightful match of attacking rugby. As there it is, full time. 25 minutes overdue, but still a fantastic match between the Chiefs and the Hurricanes going right down to 25 minutes after the full-time buzzer sounded. The Hurricanes, well, they should be distraught. They should have kicked for options earlier. Of course, they did. Leua and Barrett both took drop goal attempts. So did Anscombe for the Chiefs. What can you say? But a match of missed opportunities. The Hurricanes could have won it. But both drop goals from Leora and Barrett fell just short. And in the end, 7 all. someone had to play. They both played, and they played it to the best of their abilities. And the Chiefs come out in the end, thanks to Bundy Aki, with the match-winning try. The Hurricanes will take one bonus point, but that could effectively end their season. 14-7. Tries for the Hurricanes, Corey Jane with one, Bowden Barrett converted. As for the Chiefs, Anscombe and Aki with one each, and Gareth Anscombe and everything converting both the tries. The stats at full time, it's almost exhausting. 60 40, pretty much on both, going to the Chiefs. Five plus phases, one of them for the Hurricanes. It showed just, I'm surprised they only got one when they were really in position for long periods throughout that match. Two penalties conceded for the high tackles in the first half, but look at the tackles. I think that's a record for the most tackles in one match. 85 and 51. That's 136. Don't know about my maths. Somewhere about there. And the bottom there, scrums. All going to the Hurricanes. The Chiefs on the day are the winners, and they'll take the points. And they'll stay atop the table. Let's check out that table and see if the Hurricanes still have something to play for. So following another close fought win for the Chiefs, that's two in a row now that they've really struggled to put their opponents away. The Blues battled hard against them. And of course this week the Hurricanes, boy, probably should have been a draw when you think about it. Probably should have been a draw. The Hurricanes have bounced back from that result and they now find themselves in second spot, which is good for them. They, the season is far from over because with the Blues there right on their tail on 41, Oh, they've moved up a spot, so they've bounced back in the next round, round 16, obviously played through. So all these teams have played 12 matches except for the Blues who have played 13. So the Hurricanes and the Chiefs also have that up at their sleeve. So the Chiefs are in the top 12 from 12, just 7 bonus points now, staying 4 behind. We'll check out the Waratahs progress in a second because they were just blitzing the field. 55 points is 42 for the Hurricanes and 41 for the Blues. The Crusaders are sitting at the second bottom with 30 and the Highlanders woefully on nine. In South Africa the Sharks up the top just two losses for them and they're 44 points. The Bulls though keeping in touch on 37 way down to the Cheetahs third place 23. Stormers right on their tail 19 and fourth and the Lions just one bonus point for them 
at the bottom of South Africa. In Australia, there is the benchmark, the Waratahs. 14 from 14 and 11 bonus points. That is just a massive, a massive amount of points. 67. They are one point being off double second place, which is the Brumbies, who are 7 from 7. The 6 bonus points on 34. The Reds, 22. They're even more gone. And the Force of the Rebels down the bottom, they may as well forfeit because their season is over. And that is just amazing. The Waratahs. Well, you thought the Chiefs were blitzing everyone. Look at the Waratahs. And that wraps us up for round 15 of Super Rugby. We'll be back very soon for round number 16, where we possibly have match of the season. Back at Yarrow Stadium, the Chiefs will be hosting the Waratahs. Hold on to your hats. The Chiefs hosting the Waratahs. The two runaway leaders of this competition will be clashing next week and one of them will be going home without the win, which is probably the most mouthwatering prospect of the season so far. So get your tickets for that and I expect to see every single one here tuning in to that match. The Waratahs traveling to face the Chiefs at Yarrow Stadium. Boy, that is going to be massive. So I'll see you all there. Thank you for watching today's match. The Chiefs getting that, well, 25 minute late win over the Hurricanes. And I'll see you next time. Round 16, the Waratahs versus the Chiefs. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's match. And until next time, take care.